What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a trailer hitch on your truck or your SUV. If you guys are new to this channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the bell so you can get notifications to all my new videos. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so this specific example is going to be on a first generation 2000 to 2006 Toyota Tundra. First thing we'll do is go ahead and put our emergency brake on good and tight. And then we'll go ahead and chalk the wheel since we're going to be working underneath it. We don't want this rolling. Next thing we're going to go ahead and lower down the spare tire to give us some more room to work. Alright, now let's go ahead and slide underneath here. So this hitch is going to have three install points on each side of the frame rail. One here, one here, and one here. These ones actually have welded nuts already on it. So there's just going to be bolts. And then the front one's going to be a carriage bolt. Alright, so here's the hitch and here's the three mounting holes on each side I was talking about. Let's go ahead and set this on top of our floor jack. Alright, now this part's going to be tricky. If you don't have another person to help, you're going to have to get creative. You're going to have to get some blocks and some jack stands. And we're going to have to jack it up and rest it on top of these so we can bolt it in. Alright, so the first bolt we're going to do is the carriage bolt, and that is the bolt on the last hole closest to the bumper, and it goes in this plate just like this, and we're going to feed this over the frame. Alright, so this first hole up here, the plate goes on top, we drop the carriage bolt through, then the next thing that goes is the washer and the nut. We'll just hand tighten this on until we get all the bolts in. Alright, now we can get the jack and jack stands out of the way. Now if you've got these welded on nuts, you may need to clean the nuts, clean the threads with some WD-40 and maybe a little wire brush. Get all the gunk out of them. Mine are pretty gunked up. Alright, now we're going to want to take the four remaining bolts and thread these in. So the one just goes up here into that welded on nut. We'll just hand tighten it for now. Let's actually go ahead and snug this one down with our ratchet. This will help center it on the frame. And we'll go ahead and snug this back one down too. <laughs> Then don't forget the two on the other side. Snug these ones down. This one and there we go. Then we can come back to the front and snug down those carriage bolts. There we go. Now we're going to want to get out our torque wrench and set this to 68. We're going to torque these back to at 68. There we go. And don't forget the other side. And then these bigger front carriage bolts get torqued to 75. Alright, now we can put that spare tire back on. Alright guys, now all you need to do is install a tail light wiring kit and you are done. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see all my new upcoming videos. And ring the bell so you can get the notifications. Alright guys, thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care. Shoo!